Researchers returned on the 24th of August from mapping and sampling a massive swirling cluster of trash floating in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. As the Dutch-born crew works to refine a clean-up strategy, it will roll out globally. The crew of the ocean cleanup, backed by volunteers in sailboats, ventured to areas of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a swirling mass of human-linked debris spanning hundreds of miles of open sea. The debris, concentrated by circular clockwise ocean currents within an oblong-shaped convergence zone, lies near the Hawaiian Islands, about midway between Japan and the US West Coast. The trash ranges from microscopic pieces of plastic to large chunks. Oceanographer Julia Reiser said the group, working for about a month, collected samples as small as a grain of sand and as large as discarded fishing nets weighing more than 2,000 pounds. They mapped the area using aerial balloons and trawling equipment to locate samples. The reconnaissance trip is the brainchild of Ocean Cleanup's 21-year-old founder, Boyan Slat, and backed financially by Salesforce.com's chief executive, Mark Benioff, among other philanthropic and crowdsourcing initiatives, which brought in some $2.2 million. Every week, the volume of about two Empire State buildings worth of plastic flows into the oceans, where it damages ecosystems, it damages economies, and it also ends up in the food chain, thereby potentially damaging us. The next phase, planned for 2016, is the deployment in Japanese coastal waters of a 2,000-metre scale model of the group's proposed debris collection system, while, which researchers believe could extend for 60 miles. The system will contain floating stationary booms tethered to the ocean floor and linked in a V-shape intended to skim and concentrate surface plastics floating on top of the ocean currents. Slat, a Dutch inventor who gained attention as a teenager when he developed the floating boom system, which uses technology used for anchoring deep-sea oil rigs, said the project would be situated in international waters, away from shipping lanes.